Hey friends, I think I feel like my picture's a little crooked and I do apologize. My phone's just kind of precariously sitting there. Um, this is just a review um, for a, a wonderful pet memorial garden, um, a company here in Kansas City. And it's called Rolling Acres. I'm just kind of set up for my little princess's sort of memorial. Me and the other pets are going to do today. Since my husband's out of town, he won't be here for it. But he, he did come home. Um, the day she got sick, I, we all, we both, we all felt like she was waiting for the pack to be together. Um, and then she passed away to be a week ago tomorrow. We just got our ashes back from Rolling Acres. We had taken Princess on that Sunday, um, to an emergency hospital, um, out in Shawnee. And, um, it was Mission Veterinary Emergency and Specialty. They were excellent. They treated us very, very well there and helped us make a difficult decision. And then we were given the choice. Uh, we could bring Princess's remains home uh, and bury her here at the house, which in the dead of winter, as hard of, as a winter as we've had, that really wasn't an option for us. Um, I buried pets in the past in the backyard and you know, it's always been nice to have them home. Uh, another option was for us to have her cremated, and uh, Rolling Acres was going to take care of that. Uh, they've been in business for, this is their 46th year of service, it says on their little stamp. They started in 1973. Now, most of the reviews that I've read, uh, even if you feel like you had some sort of a problem, their staff is, is right on that. They will do whatever it takes um, within their power to make sure that you have... Um, the best experience possible, you know, given the conditions. And they're very caring, I think. They're deeply caring. I didn't meet them, but just in reading the reviews and some of the things on their website and uh, the way that um, the staff at the veterinary uh, hospital spoke about them, I just felt really positive about this experience. Now, the prices we were quoted, of course, this is 2019, so... Um, to simply have Princess uh, cremated in what they call a community, I guess, cremation. Uh, and then her ashes, along with several other pets, um, all would have been sprinkled in a apparently a beautiful spot. Now, there is a website um, that you can look up. It's uh, www.visitrollingacres.com, and you can look at the site where they will communally spread your pet's ashes. And um, the price I was quoted from my vet's office at that time was $75 for that. Or we could choose a private cremation, which is what we ultimately went with, with Rolling Acres uh, through our vet who arranged it all. And um, that was, I believe it was 175 I wish I knew for sure. You know, at that time, I don't even remember. I mean, it was such a horrible thing we were going through. Um, but that way, your, your pet is cremated um, privately, and then you bring home your pet's uh, cremains. Um, you can either sprinkle them at home or do whatever you want to do with them after that. When we picked up, it only took a few days. They called me. Um, they put, of course, her last name on here, but it was labeled Princess in our last name. And I was in care of Mission Veterinary Emergency and Specialty again. And she came in this little box and we had been shopping for urns uh, because we didn't know you know really what to expect and then it's you know it's, there's something that keeps everything from moving around down inside the box um, it's in there really solidly as you can tell you have to actually lift it out and then they sent her home in this what I consider a lovely little urn. Um, it is plastic, um, but it does have these really super snaps on the side. And it says my name again, and it does say Princess in our last name on it. And it's got this cute little heart on the top. So cute. Her ashes are, I won't show them um, publicly, but her ashes, she's just a tiny little bit. She was only a three and a half, sometimes four pound chihuahua. She had little personality, I mean a little, little body, Huge personality, the heart of a lion. She didn't know her size. Um, we called her the mouth from the south because I did adopt her in Louisiana. But Rolling Acres added um, 
um, this lovely brochure, and in it, you know, they talk about them, and um, I guess it's Gary and Nancy Piper, they're the owners. The Compassionate, Dignified, Ethical Afterlife Care for Your Pets. And it talks about in memoriam. Um, it just talks about a lot of things, visualization, uh, communal cremation. It kind of goes into detail, some of the stuff. And visitation for your pet. And then they have a few samples of charms and urns. Um, there's a map on the back. Just some more about um, honoring memories, uh, repaying loyalties to your to your pet. And so that was in there. Their card was in there. In the box. There's, they offer a pet grief recovery group. That was so amazing. There's several ways to get in touch with them. There's no charge for the group. You, know, you can go at any time. A map and um, it's just an invitation to come out and, and visit Rolling Acres. So, um, and then um, they gave us tips, 10 tips on coping with the loss of your pet, which I thought was pretty amazing. I mean, I didn't have to do that. I thought that was very, very sweet of them. It was um, a certificate of private cremation, so certified private. So that covers all your legal stuff. This is certified. And then it was so sweet, they put the story of the Rainbow Bridge card in there. So I'm getting all choked up. Because it's only the second time I've gotten her little urn out. Um, I just thought that the way that they handled things and the way they did things and the dignity and professionalism it was just really incredible. Um, we just we couldn't be happier. We could not be happier. Um, so yeah. So again, that's Rolling Acres. It's here in the um, Kansas City, Missouri area, actually, and um, all kinds of ways of getting hold of them look them up online and you know if you are going through something like this or you know anticipate going through it you know my condolences it's, it's very very hard to lose a pet it's very hard princess was with us for 12 of her 13 years and she never knew an unhappy day in all those years and um we loved her and she was part of our pack and i'm very very happy my husband and i are both very happy with the decision that we made you know we keep her ashes with us and my friend sent me a little charm so a tiny little bit of her ashes will go in there you know that's all I wanted to say you know um, it worked out for us so, so.